Hey guys, um, I just got this box and it is an, a USB oscilloscope from Lotro Instruments. So I personally don't have um, an oscilloscope so I decided to, to buy one. But because of the space on my desk, I did some research and I found some good options for a portable oscilloscope like this one. So I'm going to I'm going to um, unbox it and see what comes inside. And here we have we have the the oscilloscope itself, you know, the main the main body. As you can see, it comes with uh, two channels A and B and this VGA port to connect the modules. I think so. And we have this like it comes with the USB a USB uh, port to connect to the computer and two LEDs for show, showing the power. Let me remove these things and put them aside. We don't need this. Okay, uh, what comes inside? Let's see. Oh, and here we have um, um, a USB cable and these these are the probes it comes with two normal probes and it comes with um, this this module this is i think uh, it is uh, a logic analyzer yeah i will test them uh, soon i think it's missing one more thing Yeah, it also come comes with these these stuff here. I think I think they are these rings are for changing. Like if you want to dif differentiate the probes A and B, you can use these rings to change the color. And it comes with this screw driver here. This one. Yeah, we we can use them to calibrate the the probes and I'm going to test them uh, in in a moment so um, these like I think they have there is a manual here but it is in Chinese yeah it's in Chinese it comes with some modules you can buy and add like a function signal generator uh, some other stuff like um, a bag and yeah, all of these 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 modules are optional. You don't need to to buy them for using or start using this oscilloscope here. So uh, what I'm going to do now, uh, I'm going to to open the the software and test, connect the USB to the computer, and then test it see, and see how it performs. So um, you can download the software on Lotus website you just come here and download and download software it it will take you to the page where you can download the software and the driver I've downloaded it already so I'm going to open uh, let me just zoom it so um, let me connect. You can see here, it's it's saying device like it didn't uh, recognize any device. So uh, let me connect the USB cable. I'm going to connect the, the USB cable and connect it to the computer. And you can see here that is saying the the device is available so this is the the name of the oscilloscope so what I'm going to do you can see here um, the channel A is active no no channel is selected so I'm going to select the channel A because I just want to test this um, the, the channel A and see how the oscilloscope performs so um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this, this, this part here, the probe, 
let me zoom it a bit uh yeah and i'm going to connect i'm going to plug it inside this the vga port this way so that it can calibrate it and let me connect the probe also and here we have you can see once i connected the probe you know the um, the waveform you know the 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 square the square wave is is uh this is being displayed on the on the software so i can drag this um i think it's this way the channel yeah this is the channel the channel a like the um, the waveforms the waveform that is being displayed from the the channel a so um this is how it looks like and i think it's quite good um i'll be using this for my future projects and i think it is one of the the best usb oscilloscope on so um i just finished calibrating um the the two probes as you can see here on the software now i just generated a basic um a basic uh wave square wave for each for each um each each probes or each channel so the question now is why do you need an oscilloscope well let's let's say that you want to to measure voltage if you use multimeter to to measure a voltage the only thing the multimeter can give you is the result is the value of the voltage in the circuit in a specific time uh, whereas the oscilloscope will give you the value of that voltage over time let's say um you you uh you want to know the value of the, uh, the 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 voltage in the circuit from uh, time equal zero to time equal five seconds so the oscilloscope will be able to give you those values and not just that value it will be able to give you the 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 signal you will capture the function the the wave form of that same that same value so it's it's more convenient to use oscilloscope to do advanced measurements in um, um, a so guys this is all for today um, if you you plan to buy or if you think of buying an oscilloscope but you don't want those common ones the those those big oscill oscilloscope i think this usb oscilloscope is one of the the best options for you to buy so guys um this is all for today see you next time